Hey there. Let's do a little Final Fantasy XIV. Now, today I want to show you something very special. What is one of the most beloved video games of all time? Well, if you said Final Fantasy VII, you're right. Now, what is one of the most iconic locations in Final Fantasy VII? Well, the Gold Saucer. And in the Gold Saucer, you did some mini-games. You went on a date with some characters. If Most people went on a date with Eris. And that's where you typically fell in love with a certain character and she gets a yard of steel in her stomach later on. Well, Square Enix has a habit of bringing stuff from their other Final Fantasy games into their MMOs. They did a little bit with Final Fantasy XI, not as much, but they're really doing it with Final Fantasy XIV. We've recently had a few patches drop, the um, Gears of Change patch, and we are in the um, 3.0 Heaven's Word expansion right now. Another patch is coming soon. Uh, this one may not be named, but this may, may not be a named patch. This may be just fixes, but we've got another one coming. And what I thought I would do today is just give you a short tour of the Gold Saucer, what it looks like, what you do there, and how you get there. And what it essentially is for is we're playing mini games. You earn men, you earn MGP points, and the MGP points are used to you redeem those to get uh, gear items that you can glamour on your character's gear. Because Square Enix made a lot of the really high eye level gear just completely fugly, absolutely fugly, and so you get the glamour prisms and you glamoured this these much better looking items onto your gear with that you also get mounts uh you can get furnishings for your home and your grand company homes and a variety of different prizes and things that you that you use mgp points to purchase you cannot purchase mgp points with jills uh no wait i think you can Yes, um, to get started if you run out. But I, you can tell I haven't done a whole lot. I haven't done a whole lot with the Gold Saucer, really. I've been mostly focusing on the game. And I've been away from Final Fantasy XIV for a while playing Elder Scrolls Online. And so there's a lot of things I haven't done. I haven't done the Chugaboo Racing. I haven't done the new game, Lords of Verminion, which take the collectible minions in the game, which are just basically pets that follow you around and don't do anything but look cute. And they give them special attributes and attacks and, and uh, support abilities. And it's sort of a very light um, cross between uh, RTS and um, tower defense almost. And it's a pretty interesting game. I've seen some videos of it. Um, my roommates played it. I haven't played it yet. I haven't even done Chukubu Racing yet. And it's proper Chukubu Racing. It is not the bastardized thing that we saw in Final Fantasy XI. Where in XI, Chukubu Racing was basically a glorified cutscene. Everything was predetermined the moment you started the race. The moment you registered for it. Everything was predetermined with random number generation. And so all you did was just watch a scripted cutscene that just showed the outcome of that random number generation. In this, you're actually on your bird. You're actually controlling it. You, you don't steer. You jump from lane to lane. There are obstacles you have to avoid. There are special items that you can use to speed your bird up, slow other birds down, um, put impediments in their way, sort of Mario Kart style. And it's, it, it looks really fun, looks really interesting. It's very in-depth. Uh, you can train your bird, give your bird special abilities. 
there's special feed that you give your bird for this you know and there's even working on uh, having a feature where you can actually breed a bird specifically for racing just like um just like they did in 11 hopefully they implement it very differently so let's get into the game now the way you get to the gold saucer is you have to go through udal and udal is a desert town in the game modeled after the initial town in final fantasy 12. there's a reason for that it's because the art director for final fantasy 12 works on final fantasy 14. A lot of elements from 12, a lot of elements from 6. Garlemald is from Final Fantasy 6. The um, Magitek armor from Final Fantasy 6 is in the game. In fact, if you have uh, the feature turned on where you hear the uh, mount music, you'll hear Tetris theme when you're riding the, uh, when you're riding the uh, Magitek armor. Now, after you go through the uh, initial quest to get a pass to go to the Gold Saucer, you go to the airship landing here through Ruby Road Exchange in Udall. You take the lift up. And you come here to the counter. And you talk to this person. You give them the... Um, you give them the ticket that gives you passage to the gold saucer. This right here, this goes into the um, mul this goes into the uh, multiplayer event, into the PvP events in Cardinal Flats. So let's go to the gold saucer and see what it's all about. Here we are. This is what you see when you first arrive on the uh, airship. You're greeted by uh, bunny girls. And the first area you find is this place, the entrance square. And this is an important area here. This is where you redeem your MGP claim your prizes. This is where you can participate in the cat pot, which is sort of a, a lottery. Uh, there are events that will damage your gear, because there are bombs and explosions that take place, so there's a, there's a repair person here. There is uh, NPCs for the triple triad. That's important, because there's also the triple triad games from Final Fantasy VIII in here. You can get various items here. Weapons. A lot of this stuff. Mostly good for glamouring your gear. 10,000 MGP for this. Now, let's take a look at what it looks like. Drawn. And you no, know, I've got some stuff that looks way better than that. Ew. Yeah. I've got a weapon that looks way better than that. And then there's your... your there's your um, body pieces that you can get. Mainly, you just use these for glamouring. With the bunny suit. <laughs> bunny suit. I am set to her. Mm, different gear here. A lot of casual stuff. You can glamour onto your gear. This is mostly a lot of stuff that you can only get through the gold saucer. Mm. 
and it costs a lot of MGP to, to get it. Accessories, other items, a mm, lot of minions, a whole lot of minions you can pick up. And that's the Animantoys whistle. Basically people are calling this mount, the Animantoys mount, they're basically calling this the Gamera mount. Why? Because when you're in the um, regions for the expansion where you can fly, it'll actually spin. It won't spin your view. The, the mount will basically spin like Gamera flying through the air. It's hilarious. The Fenrir horn? Oh, yeah. A lot of people are trying for this one. One million MGP in order to get the Fenrir mount. And they're making Fenrir flyable. What will happen is you'll create a block of ice underneath him that will rise up in the air and lift him. So he'll just stand there and fly around with a block of ice underneath him. You know, and there's barding for your chukaboo to put on. Various items for your home. There's music for your or your um, orchestrion in your uh, in your house or in your um, free company house. The black corral. That would be an interesting one to get a hold of. I already got a regular Corel. So this is where basically you redeem MGP for points and you uh, repair your gear. This is sort of the, the hub of everything. There's the Arethrite Plaza. This is where you'll show up when you teleport in. After you get initial access to this place, you'll teleport in and you'll get you'll come here. And let's take a look at some of the different areas that are here. Now in here you'll find various mini-games. This whole area here is just one giant mini-game. The gate events take place and this is where you and several other people race to the top and there are bombs that drop that will knock you off, and if you get knocked off, you gotta start over. It's pretty fun to play around with. And those will shoot you up from the top here. There are arethrites everywhere to help you teleport around. This place is fairly large. And you actually do come up here, you actually get up there and get to the top when you take part in that event. Not much up here. This is mostly here for, you know, um, different uh, quests when you first show up. So let us go and... Ouch. Take a look at one of the other areas. Backtrack back to where I'm from. You'll also find mini-games here. You know, let me try one of these. I, I, I suck at these, but let me try it. Oh, I actually won something. Alright, let me try it again. Ah! Basically, you do this and you keep earning MGP points to you. Oh, oh. Got myself quite a bit. Right, let me find the way out of here. Did I mention this place can be a little confusing to find your way around? Ah, this thing. I'm bad at this too. Yeah, I was I was awful in the uh, I was awful with the uh, mini games in Final Fantasy VII. Well, well, let me try it anyway. Ah. Yeah, I'm bad with this.
Oh, I might actually get it this time. Yep. Alright. Well, at least I got some MGP back from that. Alright. There's a lot more people here than there were before. Um, some people AFK, though. Another event takes place in here. Another gate event with uh, multiple people. Now, you're supposed to be able to get up here. Uh, without the gate event going, but you have to be at the exactly the right spot in order to do it. And I always have the hardest time finding out what that spot is. There is one particular spot right here that helps you get up here, and it is always so difficult getting up on to the damn block. Mm. And there's no other... Sorry. There's no other way up here. There is a way. You can get up here. I've seen people do it. And it's the only way to get up here to take part in the uh, in take part in the game. And this is the hardest part is actually getting up there. Well, you get the point. You get up there, and the goblins will throw bombs down. The bombs will hit you, and they'll knock you off, and you'll have to start all over again. Similar to the uh, similar to the other one, except it looks like you know stained glass and and everything and all shiny. Here's another one. Uh, in here, another the other one of the other gate events. Uh, this one is sort of like Simon Says or Red Light Green Light, where you, know, you have to move or or or. Um, have you ever played that game where the music play not musical chairs, but um, you move around while the music is playing and then you suddenly have to stop. And if you don't stop in the right place, bombs will go off and knock you off. And it's... I've done that event, and it's pretty fun. And this is another mini-game. This is where you have to hit old Gilgamesh in the face. Let's try this one. some points there. But uh, you want to, uh, I do not know where the, um, I don't know where the Lords of Verminion take place at. Uh, I can show you the area where the Chikubu Racing takes place. And as I said, I haven't done that yet, so I'm not certain how to get that started. Those are crane games, right here. These are... complicated. So, let's try it here. Let's see if I win anything. Nope. Alright, let's try again. got something for once. What did I get? I don't see... I guess I didn't get an item. I guess I got MGP. Okay. This is for something else. I will show you that later. In fact, if I do any runs for this later on, I will record that for you. The same thing here. Basically, the diadem. That's an interesting place. But let me show you where you do the Chukaboo races.
here it is. This is where you register for Chugaboo races. And you get your you get items for your Chugaboo. You, you, you train your bird. It's where it all gets started. And there's a mini game here up here. You know, read the right shard. of Verminion might actually be up here. There's another mini game here. I have not played this one. I think this one's new. Here it is. Okay, here's the Lords of Verminion. Right. You see these little these little areas here? Your minions will run around in these and compete against other people's minions in various games. I was wondering where it was at. As I said, I I have never done this before. So here it is, and people are taking part in this here. Someone is doing it here. I don't know, Lamb. This is another new one. I have no idea how you do these. Crafting-esque sort of game. Ah. Mm. But you get the gist of what this place is about, you know? It's just a place to have fun. And if you take this, this takes you back down to the entrance square. So, you know, it has nothing to do with the main story of the game. It's just a place to come and have, a, have some fun, earn points, and you use those points to get some special stuff to to, um, special gear, some furnishings, some stuff for your orchestrian in your, um, in your home or your free company house. Minions and mounts. And that's basically what this place is for. And Square Enix has said that they will add more stuff to the Gold Saucer to make it more fun, add more prizes. Uh, to get more people in here to do uh, to do these games, you know, I mean it's just a place to have fun, and you don't earn any Jill in here, so it can't be exploited by Jill sellers who are something of a problem in in the game. Well, that has been Final Fantasy XIV: The Gold Saucer, and. You know, thank you for coming along. I will have more content. We'll be going to the into the diadem probably tonight, if we do. Um, what we're doing there is that's associated with your free company's airship. 
and what happens with the dot what happens with that is you get access to islands that are out in the um that are out in the heavensward regions and the floating islands in the sky you go there you spend like 30 minutes there with your party um you have to have a party of eight people to get there you kill as many things as you can there are enemies there that are harder to kill also notorious monsters but you kill as many things you can get there when loot drops you um you draw lots on it draw um, with you choose greed uh, if you choose need on an item um, most people will yell at you or boot you out but you you um, draw lots using greed you just select greed to draw lots on the items when you get them when you come back you turn them in you'll get uh, you'll get uh, sky pilots um, spoils and you can use those to purchase specific um, items specific gear items and you can also get them use it to purchase what a lot of people were trying to buy and that's a Pegasus mount basically a horse with wings and it's fun a lot of people are doing it it is crazy sometimes but I ran it about I uh, ran it about three or four times with my free company before. The next time we go, I will bring you along with me. All right. Till next time. See you later.